Welcome to this step-by-step -step guide on scanning an all-on X implant case using HCAP scan body from Implant Dental Lab Services, T3 Shape Scanner. Whether you're new to digital dentistry or looking to refine your technique, this video will walk you through the process of achieving precise and reliable results. In this workflow, we always choose a screw-retained crown for just one tooth. It doesn't matter how many implants are present, after saving on the right side of the interface, we choose Pre-Preparation and Emergence Profile. We will perform four scans. First, the opposing jaw. Second, with the denture in place. Third, remove the denture and scan the jaw alone. Finally, place the H-cap scan body and scan it carefully to ensure all details are captured accurately. Start by scanning the opposing jaw. Follow the scan protocol suggested by 3Shape to ensure accurate and consistent results. This sets the foundation for the remaining scans. Always make sure to scan the buccal side of the teeth completely to avoid any issues when scanning the bite. Follow the 3Shape protocol for accurate and reliable results. Now, move on to the pre-op scan. Scan the denture and gum completely, ensuring all areas are captured. It's crucial to scan the borders continuously all around. Any missing parts could cause problems in future scans. Normally, the next step would be scanning the jaw. However, if we remove the denture to scan the jaw now, we'll lose the bite alignment. To avoid this, we first do an occlusion scan to capture the bite. So, at this point, click on Occlusion in the software and proceed. When marking the tooth, make sure to click Later to keep all the scans intact and avoid losing any data. To accurately scan the bite, have the patient bite firmly into centric relation. Ensure you scan the buccal surfaces of both the upper and lower teeth, covering at least three to four teeth on each side. This approach enhances bite alignment and ensures precise occlusion records. Before proceeding to the jaw scan, click Mark Tooth in the three shape software and select any tooth. This step is necessary because the scanner anticipates crown preparation and won't go further. This is why we don't mark and cut the tooth before taking the bite registration. If we do, the software may remove too much of the tooth structure, leaving insufficient data to capture an accurate bite. To scan the jaw completely, we need to cut the denture from the pre-op scan. Position the scan for easy trimming, then click Trim and carefully cut the denture. Make sure to leave the gum intact at the borders. When stitching, Start from the existing gum and gradually move forward into the cut area for smooth alignment. Now the scanner prompts you to click on the prepped tooth. While the scanner assumes it's scanning a prepped tooth, we're actually scanning the full jaw, so the exact location of the tooth doesn't matter. Place the H-cap scan bodies over the multi-unit abutments. These scan bodies are sandblasted, making them easy to scan. Ensure they are securely screwed tight for accurate data capture during the scanning process. The process won't take much time since the jaw was scanned earlier and we're only adding the scan bodies now. As you can see, the upper edentulous jaw is aligned in the correct bite without the denture. We also have the denture and the H-cap scan bodies ready for design. To save the scan, click Export, then select Scans. There are two file formats commonly accepted by most dental CAD software. STL files are more accurate but larger in size, while PLY files are smaller and include full color, making them faster to transfer. The color in PLY files also helps lab technicians see and work with the actual shades more effectively. In Exacad DB, we select the anatomic crown option with the implant based screw retain setting. This allows us to work with the scan body and jaw scans separately. For cervical adaption, if you have implants, choose Preserve Tooth Library. This is important because the tooth number often doesn't match the implant's position. If you select Pull to Margin, it could distort the design by dragging the bottom of the tooth if the tooth number and implant position are not aligned. For the Pontic, select Anatomic Pontic and enable the options for Pre op model and digital virtual margin. Then, hold the control key and copy the Pontic settings to the other teeth. Always select one of the articulators before proceeding, 
and save your settings to start importing files. Import the files and carefully check them to ensure everything is properly aligned and accurate before proceeding. In the articulator, position the models and align them with the horizontal plane. If requested by the doctor, you can adjust the bite by opening or closing it at this step. At the Detect Implant Position stage, select the library option EZ Abutment H Cap. This corresponds to the scan body used to scan the multi unit abutments in the patient's mouth. For EZ abutments, there are two options. The first is MU Tie Base, used when working with a tie base. For tie bases, you can choose between short, long, or neo tie base options, depending on the height required. The second option is MU Direct H Cap, which allows the appliance to be screwed directly onto the multi unit abutment ideal for designs like thimble bars or printed dentures. For this design, we used MU Direct. To align, click on the same position of the red dot on the HCAP scan body and adjust the level to match the height of the red dot. Hold the control key while clicking the flat side of the HCAP scan body on the model. If the color changes to purple or dark blue, the alignment is correct. If not, click a few more times to fine tune the alignment. For the teeth setup, choose a library that resembles the patient's natural teeth before extraction or use references like the face or arch shape. Aim to match the opposing teeth for proper alignment. Keep in mind that setting up teeth involves many factors, which a professional dental lab technologist is trained to handle. If you're setting up teeth for a thimble bar, always select the generic library. Using anything else can cause issues like shrinking teeth. As you can see, we've modified one of the premolars into a molar. Always observe the opposing teeth and implant positions. Position the screw holes in the center of a single tooth, avoiding placement between two teeth. For distal extensions, ensure their length is appropriate for the number of implants. More implants allow for longer extensions, while fewer implants require shorter extensions for stability. Now, use the freeform tool to refine the teeth and make the final adjustments. Check the teeth from the bottom view and move their bases to position them around the analogs if possible. Also, ensure that all the teeth are aligned harmoniously for a balanced setup. When designing the gingival outline, make it as narrow as possible to maintain aesthetics and comfort. Ensure sufficient thickness around the screw holes to prevent appliance breakage. Carefully balance the design to provide strength without compromising the appliance's functionality or the patient's comfort. To achieve an optimal gingival design, use the freeform tool to refine the gum tissue, ensuring a natural and harmonious appearance. Perform festooning to replicate the natural contours of the gingiva and align the cervical lines of the teeth uniformly. Ensure that interdental spaces are adequately filled with gingival material to prevent food impaction and maintain periodontal health. When planning to apply pink composite to the bocal or facial aspects of the gingiva, it's advisable to reduce the existing gum area by approximately 0.5 millimeters. This reduction ensures adequate space for the composite material, promoting optimal adhesion and a natural appearance. In this context, the blue areas indicate regions to be preserved, while the yellow areas represent sections to be reduced. After generating the virtual wax-up scan, proceed to the final freeform stage. Ensure the intaglio surface is as narrow as possible, with all borders rounded and free of any bumps underneath. Verify that the areas around the screw holes have sufficient thickness to maintain the appliance's strength. For all on X cases, it's recommended that clinicians level the bone and gum during surgery and perform adequate bone reduction to achieve optimal prosthetic outcomes. After merging, the file is ready for milling or 3D printing. At New Pars Dental Lab and Implant Dental Lab Services, we are dedicated to assisting you with design and staff education for scanning and file transfer processes. We also offer support in designing dentures for immediate loading in all on X cases post-surgery. To obtain HCAP scan bodies and reverse scan bodies, please contact New Pars Dental Lab or Implant Dental Lab Services. Additionally, 
Implant components are available through Get Implant Company. If you require technical assistance with scanning, 3D printing, or designing, please contact us at Implant Dental Lab Services. We will create and send you a short instructional video at no charge to support your needs.